welcome combatants so with all the talk of year two we're going to look at all the stuff that is definitely in the files that is coming and could this be drip dropped over year two and more but do like subscribe to the bell notification follow me to future for more content so yes people there's a lot of stuff coming to mk1 a real lot of stuff which we're going to go into literally every single thing we're going to go into so obviously we have the san diego comic con stuff which is going to be showing us officially year two which will start from september because obviously that's when mk just first came out last year so they will be showing them like the thing he says year two means content that will span a year so we will be getting our combat pack two which will span the whole entire year now we do have stuff that are going to be going through this with you and you're going to see all the stuff that's in the files that's meant to be coming and meant to be here and it's a lot of stuff and we're going to discuss it and then get through into this right now so let's start off with this so yes these are in the files right now including the following mercy mode all characters have mercy animations including omni-man and there are quests for it and online tracking which is interesting test test your x all of the text your x nodes were added to the files stage transitions like um the old games but they could be put into there because of other games like injustice 3 and whatnot but probably not and online lobbies which have been added in recent files now first off we'll go into stage transitions we all know stage transitions from obviously the midway error with all the ways if the stages were linked and now if they do something like it'd be cool to see the cameo or you can hit the character into a side of the screen and transition into a different side of the wall or a different area that would be really really cool to bring stage transitions but Mortal Kombat made that as a thing and I would love to see them bring that into MK MK1 only a matter of time but this is definitely something really cool that I can't wait to see it get implemented you have new test your might modes to test your luck modes as well so these are definitely stuff that are going to be very interesting indeed to come into this game and online lobbies who doesn't want to have online lobbies back into this game because i miss them that's why i haven't been playing online in mk1 as much because the lobbies i miss going into lobbies and just choosing them type of places to go in and fight in they're just so much more fun but this is definitely something that can be sprinkled through this season as anything season two could probably introduce the online lobbies the new test your might modes and whatnot and then also obviously stage transitions especially with the new seat with the new chaos realm and whatnot no, that would be something really cool. Then we also have this stuff. So we have invasion online content. There's an indication of online feature in invasion. It's called scavenger hunt. So that could tie to something for us getting rewards and stuff from invasions that a certain part might be online. We have warrior shrine. No information currently available according to the inventory files. Warrior shrine is the shrine using combat league currency that will allow you to unlock combat league stuff. So this is something else different. Then we have tag team mode. Tag team was added three updates ago where you can use the cameo button to tag in and tag out mk9 style two updates ago tag team's button was removed but the function is still there but the only way to swap is to die so that's something that could change cameo mode that's the name we don't know if it means cameo 1v1 or if it means no cameo but we know cameo wins is a voice line where cameo is the name of the victor so and that is those ones where it comes to this obviously season of stuff where you can see tag team mode cameo mode invasions got some online content and scavenger hunt and the warrior shrine stuff for combat league so that would be good for people who don't really like to play online warrior shrine is a really great way for those people to get those things tag mode like we said ermaka has already um data mined this stuff and it shows you can tag in and out the feature is still there it has not been removed so for me that feels like something they're still going to work on and tag mode might be coming in year three of mortal kombat but stuff like scavenger hunt the invasion online stuff they might definitely come for city for um year two they will definitely come probably along with stage transition and all them other stuff i feel like this is definitely something that could be really cool stage transition and everything is really fun i think this is going to be something really grand but when it comes to these invasion stuff and whatnot we know that they're probably going to have more invasion seasons with every character and they've already evolved it by letting us fight against some of the robots as well because it brings more variety into the game doing combo challenges for certain characters and doing them on the cyber initiative ninjas everything it's a much more enjoyable experience now for invasions where we have a lot more different things coming into it even the whole western stand down one where you have to shoot or do the move before the other character does i think these are all really really good stuff that they've put into this so obviously there is a lot of stuff that is coming there's a lot of different things that are going to arrive and i can't wait for them but obviously this was all the ones that are still in the file but who knows what else will get sprinkled out but let me know what you think of this and do like subscribe this is your boy future boy in the future stay frosty peeps peace